recently I had the pleasure of getting myself a new router, which was great, honestly. I maybe it won't crash if I try to move it. So there it is. It's the R7000 by Netgear. Um, but the problem with it is it was quite the pain to set up. Like, quite the pain. I hated the original OS. Well, it probably wasn't that bad, but I just don't like the look of it. Uh, so I decided to switch, but there are no tutorials online for the 2019 variants, and when you do search up for it, what shows up is a terrifying notice that Netgear have started blocking their routers from these custom firmwares. But clearly, I'm running it. I'm running Advanced Tomato on it. So how did I get it running? The answer is simple, but only when you follow the steps. It doesn't take that long. It took me a very long time to figure out, but after a while, I got it, and um, I decided I'm going to publish this, just in case anyone else might want to know. Okay, so here it is. Here's the box. You have to make sure you have this exact model, I don't know how it works on the other ones, it might not even work, it's the R7000, um, I haven't even taken the sticker off my one yet on the shelf, but um, yeah, I'd say let's just get right into the steps. Okay, so here we are, the mic quality in my last video was terrifying, so I just want to apologize for that before we begin. So as you can see right here, I am running Advanced Tomato, which is my firmware of choice, because a lot of people have said great things about it to me. Um, I changed the IP address as you can see, and I have all the features that come with it, which is great. I haven't explored half of them yet, but hey, that's all ahead of me. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, let's just get into the hard part. So what you're going to need is you're going to need these files. Uh, I'll have all of these down in the description below. So the way this works is you need to downgrade your router. Problem is your router won't downgrade past a certain level uh, through the software. So what you need to do is you put you need to use a special uh, command line tool for this. What you want to do is you want to press your Windows key on your keyboard, that's the flag key, and type CMD. Right click on that, click run as administrator, uh, click yes. Oh, so that's where it goes black. Okay. Oh, it's back. So what you want to do then is you want to open your folder where you download all the files, click up here, Right click, copy, and type CD, paste that in. By the way, you paste by right clicking, click enter. And then what you want to do is you want to run the command NMRP. That's to make sure that everything works. If everything works and you did everything correctly, this will show up. Okay? So then you want to run NMRP slash minus L, like that. And that lists your network interfaces. So you want to look and find the network interface that your router is connected to. I'm guessing that would probably be Ethernet 1. And um, yeah, you want to have your router connected directly to your PC when, when you're doing this. Um, so yeah, so for me that would be Net3 here, but I'm not going to use Net3 because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to brick my router. So I'm giving most of the credit to this guy in the forum here who posted this. Um, it's not exactly how to do what we're doing, but it uh, it definitely does help. So, as you can see here, these are the instructions on how to use NPRM Flash, but I'm just going to show you. So, what you want to do after finding your network interface, which is using this command, is you want to grab this command, which will be down in the description below, uh, paste this command in, again by right-clicking, sometimes that doesn't work, copy, paste, there you go, and then you want to remove this, which is the custom firmware he was using, and you want to paste in your firmware name. Now the way you want to do this is you want to downgrade one by one, so one firmware at a time, or at least that's how I did it. It might work instantly, I'm not 100% sure. I did it one by one just to be sure. So you paste that name in here, and you want to change the hashtag to whatever interface your net is on. So that would be three for me, because my router is connected to three right now, but I'm going to put in two, because I don't want to do this again. So, 
then at this point you want to turn off your router and leave it plugged in straight to the PC. You want to have it plugged in straight to the PC. And then you turn on your router, wait maybe two seconds to press enter. And it'll start looking for your router. And uh, it won't find mine, of course, but it should find yours. It might give you an error. What you want to do after that error is you want to really fast press the arrow up and enter. And it should go the second time. Straight after the error, you want to do that. And it should go the second time. And then after that's done, you want to... But I set it up every time. I'm not sure whether you need to set it up every time. This is very experimental to me as well. So, so what you want to do then is you want to go down to the next firmware. So you want to grab the name of your next firmware and uh, paste that in there. And again, turn off your router. Maybe turn it on and maybe wait about two seconds. Press enter again. And it'll uh, again look for the router. And when it finds it, it might give you an error. Press up and again, really fast, and then it should flash, and again, and again, and again. And it's either number 36 or 26 that you want to go down to. I'm not 100% sure. But after a certain uh, amount, it should allow you to flash this firmware. Merlin Initial. Lovely people on the forums made this. Uh, after you flash this, it'll tell you that you're downgrading. It's okay, don't worry. This is the Asus DWRT. You might want this, or you might want to switch. Uh, point is you need to have this flashed and then once you flash this through this you can go into Merlin's uh, upgrade utility in in their firmware and you can flash this which is the tomato AIO or whatever you want to flash and it's a TRX file which is what you want to flash and you can flash that from Merlin and it, it worked for me it should work for you and if you do want to flash Advanced Tomato, there's actually a newer fork of Advanced Tomato made by some genius on the GitHub forms. So I'll have that down in the description below as well. Uh, all credit goes to them. Um, but yes, that, that's basically it. So just to recap, what you want to do is you want to download NPRM Flash and NPCAP, uh, install NPCAP, and then after that, uh, run NPRM flash just to make sure it works and then you want to follow the instructions so what you want to do is you want to find your your interface then run this command downgrade one by one by one until it lets you install Merlin and then from Merlin install your advanced firmware that's basically it um, yeah if you have any problems make sure to put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to help you um, it worked for me, it should work for you, and uh, yeah, I'm always very happy to help. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, as you can see, it's not as hard as you probably thought it is, it's just a matter of downgrading one by one, then installing the Merlin initial, and uh, from there installing whatever you want. Let's just hope Netgear doesn't patch this, because it would be a shame. It's what makes this router so great, the custom firmware is one of the great things about it. Um, but yeah, again, if you have any problems, comment down in the comments below, and I will do my best to help you. I'm in no means an expert, but I do think it worked for me and it should work for you. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe and yeah, hopefully see you again. Peace. Alexa, stop. <coughs> Volta. There is no Volta. Why? Why? When I need it the most. Okay. Camera shows on, but it's not showing. Logic. Okay. Definitely using the rift. Okay. Walk out the door, you uh, see I'll someone all of these that you know, and below. they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine um, when you're not yeah, really you're fine, but you just can't get into it. it because they would never understand. So. Nie, nie, nie trzymaj tego w kuchni. Nie. 2019, ale ja bym nie ryzykował. O kurwa, nie.
nie, bo wygląda jakby pies wymiotował do tego. Ej, mufinki, zajebiste! Możemy mufinki sobie to zrobić. Ej, 